Well, good morning, my darlings. It is not so bright and early, very early in fact, on a Saturday morning. For some reason, I woke up naturally at five o'clock this morning and I couldn't get back to sleep. So I went downstairs and I was just kissing my boys for a little while and then I thought, I'm gonna get this day started, come into the gym and um, move my body. So my, I'm vlogging in the Vaha, by the way, because it's so dark outside. This is literally the best mirror in the gym at the moment. Um, but I've got into a bit of a good routine these last, this last like 10 days or so, where I have been doing 20 or 30 minutes on the Peloton. Um, and I find that that is great for getting my heart rate up. And the instructors on the Peloton are just so good at like getting you in a really good mood. Um, and... I feel like that's a really good cardio exercise. And then I come over to the Vaha and because obviously there's so many classes on here, I can choose what I feel like, what my body feels like. But most days after doing a 20 minute spin, I've been doing a 45 minute bar or Pilates on here. And I'm absolutely loving that routine. And then if I feel like it afterwards, I'll do a 10 minute full body stretch again on the Vaha. So I feel like I'm in a good routine. And for the first time in my life, Honestly, I'm actually enjoying exercising. I know that sounds mad, but this is actually the longest consecutive exercising I've done ever. I think they say it takes 66 days to form a habit, so I'm a long way off. Not that I plan on exercising every day, but just getting into those feel-good routines. I'm hoping that I can do my spin and do my bar and wash my hair all before 8 a.m. <laughs> That's quite optimistic because I have got our Ocado delivery coming between 8 and 9 a.m. So I need to unpackage all of that. So I had better get cracking. It is absolutely freezing in here. It's been so cold the last few nights. So as soon as I come in while the Peloton is warming up, is the internet going to work in here today? Let's see. Um, yeah, while it while the peloton is turning on, I'm trying to get the gym to an acceptable temperature. So according to the Dyson, I've set it at 37 degrees. Apparently it's currently only four degrees in here. So still a long way to go, but if I do, let's see. Oh, not a metal ride. I don't like metal. Oh yes, let's do a 20 minute pop ride with Kendall. And that should definitely warm me up. Oh, well. No personal best today, unfortunately, but I did manage to come 25,958th <laughs> out of 117,000. So that's definitely top 25%. For reference, Charlie normally comes within the top 100. <laughs> Incredible, but that was a great start to this morning's workout and I can definitely turn down the temperature on the Dyson fan now because I am toasty. Ooh. As I finish my workout, the raspberry van arrives. Okay, fresh out of the shower, and even though it is day two hair, I thought I would add some curls just to be a little bit more, feel a little bit more like myself today. So I have undone the Ocado delivery, and Charlie and I have a bit of a routine because he likes to put things away because he's very precise as to where stuff goes. So my job is to get everything out, and we do this every single time. Every time we get a delivery, I get all the things out, and then he puts it away. So I thought I would show you a few things that I have ordered, um, and then we're gonna cook a nice, 
yummy but fairly healthy lunch together. Okay, so here is the majority of my order. I've already put away things like kitchen roll and loo roll because they're quite big and bulky. So I always add an Ocado Life magazine into my order because I get so much recipe inspo from this and there's loads of really good seasonal recipe. Yeah, literally <laughs> loads of really good seasonal recipes in here. It's good to know what's currently in season. Oh my gosh, mouth watering and just so many nice different recipes and things that you can you can try. This is already on my, my wish list. Spiced pea soup with crispy paneer. I love a nice warming soup in the colder months. So what I've done here, um, when you shop on Ocado, you can basically choose from your favorites and you can literally have like a repeat order if you want. So a few things that are in my personal favorites include, of course, my oat milk. We probably go through one of these every couple of days. Um, milk, which again, I've already put in the fridge. And then some fresh fruits such as raspberries and strawberries, which we've got over here, and bananas, um, because I do put those in my morning smoothie. A lot of things I will choose Ocado own brand because I find that it's the best value for money. So the strawberries, I've got Ocado own brand, the bananas, the lemons, the limes, um, the ginger, onions, and the garlic and things like that. But then also the essentials, like the, the kind of typical household essentials, I tend to get Ocado own brand as well. So for example, uh, the bleach, this is a citrus bleach, what else have we got? Practical things like bin bags, bin liners, um, we've got some foil down there as well. So it's a real mix of Ocado own brands and then some of my favourite brands as well. And sometimes, especially the really delicious, slightly more kind of Japanese or Chinese inspired recipes, they often have ingredients that would literally take me so long to find in a typical supermarket if they're a little bit more unusual. So not that tamari soy soy sauce is unusual but just as an example it's just so easy for you to obviously type in the ingredients that you're after actually something that is often quite hard to find is alternative flowers so for example chickpea flour they've got a great selection of things like that but yeah it's just so easy to add slightly more unusual ingredients to your shopping basket Ocado also work with M&S and I'm sure you guys know how much I love M&S food if you saw my vlogmases so you can get things for example from their plant kitchen I've got their super firm tofu and you can get all of your branded favorites as well. So we have ordered this absolutely massive pip and nut almond butter because I need a top up for my morning smoothies and the best little treats in the whole world. Oh my goodness, Little Moon's Mochi ice creams. If you guys have not tried these, I would highly recommend. They're essentially the most delicious ice cream and I just love the pistachio flavor. And then it's in a really soft rice kind of jelly dough. My little trick so that they take up a little bit less space in the freezer is I actually decant them into one of these bags. These are, um, they're called stasher bags. And then I can just grab one whenever I fancy. And I find that they're a really nice, delicious palate cleanser or dessert for after a slightly heavier meal. I probably have at least two of those every single day. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is decant those into there. I'll also chop up my strawberries and pop those into a freezer bag as well. I've also stocked up on pine nuts and almonds. Charlie's already decanted the almonds into our jar. I must say for us living out here in essentially the middle of nowhere in the countryside, having a cardo being able to deliver our food for us is not only so convenient, but it just saves us so much time and often saves us a lot of money as well. It's so easy to spot the special offers because literally everything is right there in front of you. There's no delving through all the different supermarket aisles. Our nearest supermarket is it's actually half an hour away, so it's just so convenient to be able to have this to come to our doorstep, and it takes me a matter of minutes to shop online, especially because I've got my favorites that it remembers and recommends to me week after week. I'm always so impressed with Ocado own brands and the recipes that they recommend, and Charlie and I have been using Ocado for years. In fact, I think I probably first started using a cardo when I was a student because we didn't have a car and the nearest supermarket to my uni halls was actually a small local supermarket and the prices there were just so inflated so I would be obsessed with looking on the Ocado website at the cost per unit or cost per gram and then ensuring that I got the best deal. But then you can also treat yourselves to the little luxuries as well because they also stock things like Dalesford food as well. So there is something for everyone.
Okay, Charlie's been in and put everything away. So the kitchen is all neat and tidy again. I don't know why, I thought it was much later in the day, but it's only half past 10. So I'm actually going to make a really nice, quick and substantial, it'll keep me going for a while because Charlie's gonna be cooking something delicious later. I'm gonna do a really easy, quick brunch and this is perfect for a weekend brunch and it is the chickpea and banana pancakes. You will need something to whiz everything together, whether it's a blender, a Thermomix, obviously I'm gonna blend all of these ingredients in a Thermomix. So all you need is a cup of chickpea flour, a tablespoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. This is something else that I got that is Ocado own brand, the ground cinnamon. You'll need an egg, a banana, and then some recipes say coconut milk or water. I personally like my pancakes to be a little bit kind of creamier if that makes sense. So I use oat milk and then you'll need a little bit of coconut oil for frying as well. So, oh, it's a cup of, um, a cup of your milk, a cup of the chickpea powder, teaspoon of cinnamon, tablespoon of baking powder, and one banana. Blend it all together and then fry your pancakes. Super duper easy. with pancakes if you're not very good at flipping them is do as I do and roll them. Just make sure that the inside is completely cooked and then cover them in fruit which will hide a multitude of sins if you haven't been the perfect flipper. So I have added some of my banana, strawberries and raspberries to the dish. Oh my gosh, the smell is making my mouth water so so much. I'm gonna finish with a swirling of maple syrup and then I'm going to enjoy. Oh, and also this is the perfect breakfast for after a workout because with the chickpea flour and the banana, it's nice and high in fiber and protein. Thank you for your assistance, my little sunny sausage. Okay, back up in my dressing room and as you might be able to see behind me, we have got a very overflowing suitcase. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you may have noticed that Charlie and I probably when you're watching this are on holiday. My suitcase is somewhat overflowing at the moment. I have never ever been very good at packing light. Um, so I need to try and condense this down a little bit. But before we condense it down, I have actually just received a Reese order. So I'm gonna show you a few bits that were in that as well as some other things which are new in my wardrobe this month. It's always so much easier if I put you up on a tripod when I'm filming clothing bits. So it feels like I'm doing a proper fashion video. But, so actually first thing um, that was in my Reese order is the jumper dress that I have been wearing this morning. I'll show you a picture of how the model styles it on the screen here. And I think it looks really nice both with and without a belt. I've not started with a belt yet, belt yet, but I will pop a little try on clip on the screen here so you can see how it looks with a belt. But if you're just wearing it like today for relaxing at home, then it's perfect without a belt as well because this middle section is actually super stretchy. Love that the sleeves are kind of three quarter length as well. So if you are busy cooking, etc., then your sleeves don't get in the way and lengthwise it's just absolutely perfect. The loveliest pair of boots to style with a jumper dress and especially a light coloured jumper dress arrived as a surprise. I was not expecting these from Holland Cooper and they're a beautiful really light tan suede. I'm going to be protecting these with my liquid proof I had a few messages about that when I last mentioned it, so I will leave it linked in the description box down below. Do not leave the house wearing anything suede without protecting it first. Um, these are just absolutely beautiful quality. I love a chunky block heel. It makes it really easy for me to walk in and they've got this gorgeous gold detail on the heel. You've got the Holland Cooper crest underneath, zip to get in and out, so they're not going to be a challenge to hoik them off at the end of the day. And then the button detail that is very synonymous with, for example, the Holland Cooper knitwear. Okay, kind of similar vibe. You might not even be able to tell that I've got changed, but I'll pop the overall outfit on the screen here. 
I fell in love with this as soon as I saw it on the website and it was described as a tunic. So it's essentially the length of a jumper dress but with a massive <laughs> slit up one side. So massive that you absolutely can't wear it as a jumper dress. So I have got on some brown leggings with this, I think it's cashmere, tunic from Reese. I just love things like that. Anything that can elevate my everyday wardrobe, things that I can wear, both working from home and days out for meetings and the kind of places that I go to. I feel like a stuck record, but literally my life is home, Dalesford Soho Farmhouse, home, Dalesford Soho Farmhouse. And this outfit is perfect for that because it's comfy, cozy, elegant and timeless and yet I still feel quite stylish as well. I have paired it with the Holland Cooper boots again but speaking of Holland Cooper boots they also, I'm totally spoiled, they also sent over this incredible pair of wellies in this most gorgeous green shade and they are the super fluffy inside wellies. I think this colour is so classic. And again, you've got the beautiful details, you've got the gold buckles, you've got the HC logo on the front here. I cannot even begin to tell you how warm and how comfortable these wellies are. So I cannot wait to wear them on the next dog walk. They will only look this clean this one time. So I had to show you them before I wear them. Um, but I absolutely adore them and I'm so grateful. So thank you very, very much to Holland Cooper. And then we have these final two pieces from Reese. I actually have a swimming costume as well, but that is already deep in my suitcase, but I probably will have popped it on my Instagram stories already. If I did happen to take a snap in it, I'll pop that up on the screen here. Um, but this is going to be hopefully my travel outfit. It is a 10 hour flight. Normally we do a stopover, but we decided um, that we just want to get there as quickly as possible. So we are flying with British Airways and we're going to fly direct. So hopefully we'll get a little bit of sleep on the airplane. These are a really elegant, beautiful pair of, I don't want to call them tracksuit bottoms, but like comfortable, um, relaxed trousers in this gorgeous soft pink colour. I think they look really smart, um, but they're also very comfortable. And then at the top, gosh, I'm desperate for a tan. I'm actually getting a spray tan this afternoon, which I'm so looking forward to. Um, the top is just a really gorgeous shape. I will probably take a long line cardigan with me. <laughs> and then I've just grabbed some shoe options from my cupboard. I'll probably either fly in my pretty ballerinas, my Nicholas Kirkwoods that look like this, or my Todd's shoes. I think the Todd's with the metallic looks quite nice. So this is going to be my travel outfit. And here is the wild card of the pack. I bet you were not expecting a gold sparkly ball gown, but while I'm showing you what's new in my wardrobe, this is a dress that did not in that did not arrive in time for New Year's, um, which doesn't matter because I love what I wore for New Year's and I think this is just too glamorous for New Year's at my own home anyway. Um, but I think this dress is absolutely fabulous. It has come from the brand Mila. Um, and it truly is just incredible. I love, I love sparkles, I love ruffles, I love drama, and this dress is all of those things. It always feels a little bit weird putting on dresses like this when I've not done like proper hair and makeup. I don't feel glammed up, um, but you can see just how fabulous the dress is. The material is absolutely incredible. Um, it does have a corset detail at the back, which is a blessing and a curse, a curse times like this when you don't have time, when you don't have anyone to help you do it up properly. But once you're in and if you tie it up properly, it just gives you the most amazing silhouette. Um, but yeah, I thought I would just quickly show you this one. So those are the bits that are new in my wardrobe. I'm now doing that thing where I dash around the house just kind of checking every room in case there's anything in that room that I need for our holiday. We are going to be away for 10 days. Oh my gosh. Here in the pink room is where Charlie is getting his suitcase organized. We both have very different methods when it comes to packing. Charlie's got all of his bits laid out on the bed. I'm pleased to see lots of nice creams and whites, lots of gym wear. I need to pack some gym clothing as well. Every room that I go in today, the lighting is just so gorgeous. I think we're gonna head out for a lovely walk after my treatments. I've just come up into the office because I need to firstly check in online. Very exciting, haven't done that in so long. Um, and also do all of our COVID stuff, add in our certificates. We went for our PCR yesterday. You have got to do for the Maldives a fit to fly, 
92 or within 92 hours of you going so we did that yesterday so i need to upload those documents now that we've got our results back um and also fill in some forms on the moldavian government website so i'm going to do that while i wait for Nicole, who is my beauty therapist, I booked today's treatments through an app called Lucy. And I think if you live in London, they probably have like a really wide variety of things. But out here, you can get like manis, pedis, spray tans, um, massages and facials. I just find it so convenient. That is the theme of today's video, ultra convenience. Um, and also when you're being like super careful before a flight, for example, and maybe you don't want to go to a salon or maybe you're super busy. I saw one of my friends she um, got some beauty treatments at home, in fact I think it was this morning, and she's a mum so going to a salon is just a little bit of a kerfuffle for her so I'm really enjoying these at home treatments. So I'm getting a deep cleanse facial and a Sienna X spray tan and actually I thought price wise it was really good. All of those treatments are less than like a typical facial in London would be so highly recommend checking that out. Um, but yes, I'm going to crack on with checking us in and all of that jazz. And when Nicole arrives, I will show you my pamper setup. I think we're going to do it in the drawing room today, just so that she doesn't have to bring all of her stuff up through the house. You'll have to excuse the dogs barking in the background, but I wanted to show you this lovely delivery that I just opened up while Nicole is setting everything up in the drawing room. Um, and it is from Monica Vinita. We are excited to share our first ever homeware collection from the MV and Florence St. George collaboration, born out of a common love of vibrant Bohemian coast. Oh no, Bahamian. I didn't know that was a real word. And the healing power of nature, we've chosen these colourful nesting dishes that will brighten your whole home and hold your most treasured items. How lovely, I'm intrigued. They look rather beautiful. They've also popped in this little dried bouquet, absolutely gorgeous. And what's this? These little penguin books, hot money. Are they little storybooks? And then, piece de resistance. And here they are, these three beautiful little nesting bowls. So if you're not using them, you can obviously just stack them all inside each other. They're such a beautiful kind of natural shape. You can tell how they're inspired by maybe something that might be found on a beach or on the coast. And then it's got this lovely metallic gold, very synonymous for Monica Vinita, um, detail on the edging. This would be perfect for popping little trinkets in, jewelry on the bedside table. And also, I was thinking this could be really good for some of my skincare tools up in my powder room. So you can see some of the other colorways. There's this beautiful pinky shade, this kind of lemony lime color. What a lovely collaboration. Thank you very much to Monica Vinada for sending those over. I'm just leaving the chilled classical colors playlist that I told you guys about the other day, playing on our little hidden Bang & Olufsen speaker. So this is the setup for my facial. Nicole has bought her her um, machine, which is going to help with a deep cleansing. I think it's a steaming machine to open the pores. And we're going to be using a mixture of Elemis and Dr. Barbara Stern products. And then we're going to do a quick changeover and I'm going to have my spray tan. So I'll see you in an hour or so. Okay, darlings, I'm not gonna get too close to the camera because my face is a little bit pink in places. The whole point of today's facial was to do a little bit of extraction. I felt that my skin is a bit um, clogged up at the moment. So I asked Nicole to do some extraction. I put that in my kind of request when booking the facial and she's done an amazing job. And then I did have a spray tan. I don't look particularly tanned at the moment, but it is gonna develop over the next four hours or so. So meanwhile, again, I've just been dashing around and doing some last minute packing. I've actually repacked my hand luggage to try and fit a hat and my Lueve basket bag in because I'm planning on taking my Burberry tote as my actual hand luggage. And then I always like to take a little roll on as well and I'll pop a change of outfit for when we arrive as well as my more precious pieces, some jewelry bits, etc. just so I have that with me at all times because when we get there, we have a bit of a complicated um, arrivals process. Basically, we'll land in Male, which is the capital, the big airport. Then we transfer to the domestic terminal and then we're getting a one hour internal flight, 700 kilometers south. <laughs> Um, can't remember the name of that airport down south and then we get a speedboat so it's uh, going to be a long and um, probably quite tiring journey so I think it's good to have a change of outfit halfway through. 
Good morning, my darlings. It's now the next morning. Charlie and I are flying today. In fact, we have to leave home in about 45 minutes. And am I finished packing? No. <laughs> However, I have just had a super duper last minute delivery. Mr. DHL has arrived um, and I think that I'm 90% sure one of the things in here is a pair of sandals that I want to take with me. And then I need to very, very quickly try on a couple of dresses, just like last minute things. And I thought, yes, that could be really, really good. Throw them in my case and then we are ready to go. So I'm just gonna get straight stuck into these deliveries, seeing as this video did take a little bit of a what's me in my wardrobe form. Well, this could have been a pretty good flying outfit had I not already decided on my Reese outfit. Adenola, is it Adenola? Adenola messaged me to see if I'd like to choose some bits from their website and they had some really nice comfy looking clothing. So we've got this kind of chocolatey brown or more like mushroomy brown pair of tracksuit bottoms and the matching hoodie, it says, Adenola Sports Club on it. I am not plastic. I will biodegrade and compost within 80 days. 180 days. That is actually quite impressive. That is such a nice colour. So this is a pair of their leggings. What size did I go for? I think I went for a small, yes. They look really, really lovely. I'm going to take those with me in my suitcase. They're really lightweight, nice and soft, and I do plan on doing at least some Pilates and some bar classes just from my phone when we are away. And the little matching top, this little green top, perfect. Okay, that set can come with me. And then we have got the net porter box. I actually placed this order literally last year. I placed it on the 30th of December and it has taken nearly two weeks to arrive, but there has been a lot of problems with post here in the UK lately. So the first thing, I ordered this set of um, coasters in this lovely purple marble holder. And I didn't realize, but Nessa Porter actually stock Soho Home. And I thought these were absolutely gorgeous. And it's just a really nice kind of terracotta -y color. Will go nicely in our drawing room. Gosh, that is very heavy. Okay, so that's the first item. Nice to be able to mix some home in with my fashion purchases. Next is this beautiful pair of leather gloves. And I don't own a pair of leather gloves, nothing like this. Um, and I just thought they were so elegant. I'm actually not sure if these are gonna fit me, you know? So they are, as you might be able to tell from the cutouts on the back. Oh wow, actually. My goodness, that is one heck of a pair of gloves. I thought these would be perfect for driving and I seem to remember thinking that they were quite a good price as well. Maybe I got them in the sale, but yeah, I thought they were just absolutely gorgeous, a little treat for myself. And then the last item is what I was hoping was going to arrive before holiday. I didn't even know that we were going on this trip when I ordered these. But when it comes to designer pieces, I do feel a bit more confident in investing in pieces if I already own something similar and I get a lot of wear out of them. So these are very similar indeed to something I already own and they are the new version of the Valentino sandals. So these are definitely gonna come with me. Um, I have got my original pair already packed, but nice to have something a little bit different. Okay, and then I did want to very quickly try on a couple of dresses just before I fling them in the suitcase. This one is quite open, um, so I might need to put a stitch in it, but if I wear it over a bikini, then I think it will be fine. But it's this gorgeous, really lovely, lightweight dress. Um, I think it's probably a really lovely light linen, and it's from Leo Lin. Sorry, bra flash there. Do I need to take this Loewe belt? Actually, I think that looks really lovely. Really nice shape of the sleeves because they're quite voluminous. And I think if I had either a lacy bra or a bikini on underneath, if I bring the belt up above the frill, because it's been winter, I've actually not, not tried this on before, but it's perfect. Really nice and lightweight. Um, so you guys, sorry, I really need to <laughs> wear a bikini with this. So I'm sure you guys will be seeing this on my Instagram if I post. 
because I'm not putting any pressure on myself to post while we're away because it is a proper holiday. Next we have another very bright coloured dress. This one is from a brand called Envelope. Um, this was in a net -a porter order. I just wonder if I might actually be too warm in this, which feels totally bonkers to even think about on a blusterous January day, but... But then I feel like when we go to the Maldives, normally my outfits are all white. Um, so nice to inject a bit of colour and it's super lightweight. It's going to be easy to pack. So yes, I think I'll take this one as well. And then finally, this gorgeous dress, which is from Air Dem. Um, but I do think potentially this is a little bit too smart for <laughs> the Maldives. Um, I think again, if I'd have had time to have tailored this and for it to fit me properly around the waist as opposed to being a little bit looser, then I probably would have taken it, but I haven't had time to get it tailored, so it's not perfect, so I probably wouldn't reach for it. So I'm going to leave this one, two out of three is not bad going. I was thinking about taking my old um, Tory Burch dress, but I think I've got enough beach dresses with me, so I'm going to pop on my flying outfit and then, actually what's on my list? I always like to have like a last minute checklist, earphones, laptop, jewellery, I need to put on some nice jewellery, Dyson Airwrap, oh gosh, I don't know if I'm going to have room for that, my water bottle, you're currently balanced on it, and my Canon G7X, <laughs> which I'm vlogging on, okay, just a few, I'm going to try and fit in my Airwrap because great hair is very important. Okay, just in the nick of time, we are packed and ready to go. I haven't yet managed to squeeze my air wrap into the suitcase, so I'm hoping that Charlie's gonna have a little bit of room that I can squeeze it into his. So this is the outfit that I showed you yesterday. The lovely Reese uh, tracksuit bottoms, need to do a little bow there. And, and the nice top, super comfortable. Um, short sleeve because when we get there I can just strip it all off and I do sometimes get quite warm on airplanes. I've popped on these delicate little Astrid and Mew hoops and I think this necklace is either Edge of Ember or Majuri. And then my Lauren Manoogian cardigan and gold Todd's little flat shoes, easy to zip on and off at the airport through security and then I'll pop some cosy socks on on the airplane. Okay, time to pack the car, kiss the doggies and time to fly. Hello again darlings, it's a few hours later, I'm keeping my voice down because we are in the lounge and we have done a little bit of airport shopping. Both Charlie and I have made a purchase from Hermes, which sounds a little bit more exciting than it is. <laughs> would you like to show your, your, um, See, would you like to show your purchase first? Mine is entry level product, Very isn't much. it? <clears throat> yeah. Fragrance. <laughs> this, I think actually the first time, so I definitely bought this when we went to the Maldives last together, well, when we went and got engaged. Yeah. But I also think, do you remember at the um, hotel in the Burj Khalifa, they they just have this in all the change rooms, yeah, don't they? Do you remember? Gosh. But it's a beautiful fragrance. Yeah, so out. nice. So yeah, that was my little addition, which is nice, because I'm always wearing the same fragrance as otherwise. Yeah. It's quite a fresh one as well. It's quite mm. nice to, um, <clears throat> it's quite nice to have a new fragrance at the beginning of a holiday, because then you can always remember your holiday when you smell it. My purchase is a little bit more exciting. It's not a bag, obviously. I don't think you can even buy bags in airports. Um, can you help me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Would you like to show? Here we go. God, they are beautiful. They are lovely, aren't they? There we I go. think they're called the Aram sandals. So you've never had these? No. So you've got dupes of these, I have got the, the Dune versions, which, which I absolutely love, and I love, wear them yeah. loads. Yeah, they're, they're, lovely, they're beautifully they? crafted. They're tiny. These are yeah. absolutely petite. Size Made in Italy. Six. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Nice. I thought I would treat myself to those. They have individual dust bags. They didn't have the iconic. You've gone about the right way, though, because you've worn... You know, you, you know you're going to wear them a lot, yeah, don't you? Because, because you've got the, the dupes. I've worn the high street version. See, that's, yeah, that's a good way of thinking about it. And then I also made a sunglasses purchase. And this is a pair of Prada sunglasses. I did actually order a pair of Prada sunglasses from net Porter in a second order, but they did not arrive in time. And I actually think I prefer this pair. So obviously I will just send back the net Porter order. You get this quite nice little case. Who owns Prada? Is it Luxottica or is it Sapphire? Oh well, Luxottica will probably own the sunglasses. That's what I mean. Yeah, I'm not sure. And <clears throat> they look like <laughs> this. They look a little bit Matrix-esque. Wearing them inside, they've got quite nice detail. Yeah, they're nice. I think the key thing about their, those is they're different to everything that you've already 
can't turn sunglasses right? They are very different and they don't have the nodules so they won't get stuck in my hair. But anyway, darlings, I'm going to end the video here. Um, we are going to board our flight and the next video you see from me will probably be Lydia and Maldi's vlog. I'm not sure when that'll be coming because who knows what the Wi-Fi is going to be like. In fact, so I don't know when this is going to get uploaded. Well, I, I reckon the Wi-Fi will be fine. Fingers crossed, Think but you never know. Anyway, darlings, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.